And Dr. Hill, you told us uh, during your deposition that indeed uh, um, that there, there are perceived uh, conflict of interest troubles when the child of a government official is involved with, with something that that government official has an official policy role in, correct? I think any family member of any uh, member of the U.S. government, Congress, or the Senate is open to all kinds of questions about optics and uh, of perhaps undue outside influence if they take part in any kind of activity that could be misconstrued as being related to their parent or other family member's work. So as a matter of course, yes, I do think that's the case. Um, getting back to Ambassador Sondland, you, you testified that um, every now and then he, he made a habit of, of name dropping his interactions with the president? That's correct, yes. And, I believe you also told us that there were instances where you would run into him on the campus and he would say, oh, I'm, I'm here to see the president or I'm, I've been in to see the president and you had an occasion to circle back and found out that wasn't the case? That's correct. Um, and I just want to give you an opportunity. He, he testified about some sort of coffee he had with you uh, on your last day and I, I think when the deposition transcript was released, um, your your counsel indicated that that was um, completely fabricated on Ambassador Sondland's part, and I just want to give you an opportunity to, to um, address that. Yes, I'm, I mean, unfortunately, um, this is the federal government. We don't have coffee machines, you know, readily in our office. If you'd come to my office in that time, the best I could have offered you was a cup of water from the water fountain outside of my office. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the coffee that um, Ambassador Sunderland and I shared was actually, we ran into each other, or rather he found out I was going to be there and then asked me to meet him for coffee in Jackson Hole, Wyoming in 2018 in August. So this is a full year before I left. That was a very nice coffee, so perhaps he, you know, conflated those two meetings together. The meeting that he was referring to, he had come in to meet with um, our director for the European Union. Uh, this was in my last week in the office, and as I was in the office at the same time for a brief period before going into another meeting, and it was my last week in the office, we agreed to sit down with the uh, director of the European Union, with actually Colonel uh, Vindman, and the assistant that um, uh, Ambassador Sondland had brought with him uh, from the State Department. So there were actually four of us um, in that meeting, and unfortunately it wasn't over coffee. Um. And, you know, he, he went on to indicate that you were upset and you were upset with Actually, Ambassador... Actually, there were five of us, really, in the meeting. Obviously, I can't do math, sorry. Uh, fair enough. Um, he indicated you were upset and you were upset with Ambassador Bolton and upset with the way things are going, and I believe your, your counsel said that was an outright fabrication. Well, I think you might recall in my deposition on October 14th that I said that, very unfortunately, I had a bit of a blow-up uh, with Ambassador Sunderland, and I had a couple of testy encounters with him. One of those was in June 18, um, when I actually said to him, who put you in charge of Ukraine? And you know, I'll admit I was a bit rude, and that's when he told me the president, which shut me up. And this um, other meeting, um, it was about 15, 20 minutes, exactly as he depicted it was. I was actually, to be honest, angry with him. And, um, um, you know, um, I hate to say it, but often when women show anger, it's not fully appreciated. It's often, you know, pushed onto emotional issues uh, perhaps or deflected um, onto um, other people and what I was angry about was that he wasn't coordinating with us. Now I actually realized having listened to his deposition that he was absolutely right that he wasn't coordinating with us because we weren't doing the same thing that he was doing. So I was upset with him that he wasn't fully telling us about all of the meetings that he was having and he said to me but I'm briefing the president, I'm briefing Chief of Staff Mulvaney I'm briefing Secretary Pompeo and I've talked to Ambassador Bolton. Who else do I have to deal with? And the point is we have a robust interagency process uh, that deals with Ukraine. It includes Mr. Holmes. It includes Ambassador Taylor as the charge in Ukraine. It includes a whole load of other people. But it struck me when yesterday when you put up on the screen Ambassador Sondland's emails and who was on these emails and he said these are the people who need to know that he was absolutely right because he was being involved in a domestic political errand. And we were being involved in national security foreign policy, and those two things had just diverged. So he was correct, and I had not put my finger on the, at that at the moment, but I was irritated with him and angry with him that he wasn't fully coordinating. And I did say to him, Ambassador Sondland, Gordon, I think this is all going to blow up, and here we are. And after I left to my next meeting, 
Our director for the European Union talked to him much further for a full half hour or more later, trying to ask him about how we could coordinate better or how others could coordinate better after I had left the office. And his feeling was that the National Security Council was always trying to block him. What we were trying to do was block us from straying into domestic or personal politics. And that was precisely what I was trying to do. But Ambassador Sumbland is not wrong that he had been given a different remit than we had been. And it was at that moment that I started to realize how those things had diverged. And I realized, in fact, that I wasn't really being fair to Ambassador Sondland because he was carrying out what he thought he had been instructed to carry out. And we were doing something that we thought was just as, um, or perhaps even more important, but it wasn't in the same channel.